On December 3rd, there are over 100 professional artists, craftspeople, and galleries which will open their studio doors to the public during the 21st annual art show in Berkeley. I studied calligraphy seven years in Japan, and I still study, so I've been studying for almost 15 years. The more I've worked full-time as an artist, which has been since 2003, the more you realize what's important to you. Mm -hmm. One thing that's important to me is beauty. I want my work to be enticing. Mm -hmm. But I, I also, be, especially because I was a journalist and I'm very interested in political issues, large and small, mm -hmm. that's also important to me. So I want my work to have a political edginess. Not all of it, but some of it. Uh -huh. but, I also, but I don't want to make a political a, billboard. Yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. You can't hit people over the head yeah. with a message. Yeah. But I want them to come away from my work thinking about something that perhaps they hadn't thought about before in that way. See, what I think, I mean, now that we're talking about it, I think that, that the, one of the really special elements of gestural calligraphy when it works is authenticity. It's yeah. real. Yeah. And that's why when I say I do maybe 30 pieces mm -hmm. and maybe three or four work, and part of what makes them work is they're authentic. I can tell when I make a, a gesture mm -hmm. that it's, if it, it doesn't work, it's phony. You can see it's forced in some way and therefore not nearly as interesting if it comes from your heart as well as your head. You know, I usually start my day with doing traditional calligraphy with a brush, you know, and I, I grind ink and I make the traditional characters. And one day I just thought, I'm going to see what happens if I use the ink stick instead of the brush. And I started to do it on, on Japanese paper, you know, paper. And of course, because it's not, when it's wet, it's not very strong, it wasn't so didn't work so well. So I began to use a heavier paper where you could rub, you see this, this, I love the texture of that. So you could move the stick very hard, but the paper won't break. And then you can move it soft. And I, I, so I began to do these drawings with my ink stick in Japan. And I was thinking those people are being exiled from their homes. They're, they're yeah, losing yes, their yes. place and how painful that is. Um, and in fact, this is a photo transfer of oh, yeah. uh, images from a Japanese paper that's old, uh, two old women reading the paper about the earthquake. Oh. This is a man standing in the rubble of his house with his golf club, <laughs> which I thought was a very Japanese image. <laughs> and these are two little girls with masks who were being forced to leave their home after the earthquake because of the radiation danger. I, I think it, as an artist, you, you understand that, um, and what I'm discovering the more I work as an artist, that on the one hand, you have to be disciplined and you have to understand the tradition of whatever you're working in. You have to understand your craft. But if you don't move beyond it and bring whatever it is is inside your heart and your soul, yeah, then you, you stop growing and, and it, it, it doesn't work. I mean, it makes me think of, I once saw an exhibit of uh, Van Gogh's work and there were two paintings, one that he had done and one that his doctor had done, who was a pretty good artist technically. Yeah. But Van Gogh's piece was so much more interesting. Why? Because you could see Van Gogh in his, his wild self showed in the painting, and the doctor's painting was yeah. technically good yeah, technically. and boring. <laughs> and I think that's part of the, the challenge and excitement about art. Yeah. I mean, a, a, an artist, I think his name is Ed Rushka, said creating art is like stepping into air. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Um, that I think you want to be open to open. what to some new idea or some new feeling. I mean, I just, I hope that my work continues to have some passion and some intelligence and some edginess.